In 2004, I started talking about the expanding sphere of computer science and how the field was becoming broader and broader and impacting almost everything. I also coined the term CS plus X at that time to indicate that computing and X for all disciplines X were going to have a bigger and bigger impact on universities, on education, and the world at large. After leaving Google, what I wanted to do was explain how this broadening of the field and the breadth of considerations we had to have to do things as well as we could do them. I wrote this paper to try to distill my knowledge as to how we should teach our students given this broadening. The point of the paper is a three-part framework. Part one is that we should be sure to teach all of the constituent technical aspects needed to do the field really well. And that could be issues of privacy and security or modeling or data munging and the like. Second, we need to teach integrity and to practice integrity because these fields are so powerful that if they are used in a dishonest way, we'll do significant harm. And then finally, again giving the expanding sphere of computing, is we need to depend upon our colleagues in the liberal arts to educate our students in the breadth of issues that will affect the trade-offs we make as we do AI, as we do data science, and apply them to ever more aspects of society. Targeted advertising is a really good example of where one can apply the three-part framework. So certainly there are technical aspects of targeted advertising. How does one propose the right ad for a consumer to see? How does one manage privacy and security and make sure the system is robust? Those are technical topics. Second, it's very important that there be honesty, that consumers are informed of what policies are, that advertisers get paid properly and the like. And then finally, there's certainly trade-offs. And they require considerations not just of ethics, say the ethics of privacy and whether privacy, say, is a universal right or not, but also considerations of economics. What are the benefits of targeted advertising? And if there's going to be regulation, what is the possibility of the political system to do this in a way that's effective and long running? Part of the reason that I created this paper is to emphasize that ethics is not enough. It's very important to teach ethics. We highlight the Belmont principles, we highlight other aspects of ethics in the book that my colleagues and I wrote called Data Science in Context. However, ethics are aspirational in many ways and they don't necessarily prescribe an answer. One has to balance ethics with the pragmatism of politics, of economics, and we have to be guided by what's worked historically and what hasn't. I think our students need to see a collection of ideas from many disciplines, and we need to be inspired by the great fiction writers that have looked into the future and seen in ways that we as scientists and engineers can't see what are the possibilities. So it would be very nice if it were very clear how to build every AI and data science application, but there are trade-offs everywhere. We wonder about freedom of speech versus content moderation. We worry about when we're being manipulative versus when we think we're nudging people to behaviors that may be good. What are the right objective functions? What are we trying to achieve? Are we trying to achieve a maximal growth and in income per capita with some data science or AI application? Or are we trying to balance the growth and wealth across a population in a more equitable fashion? There are many more examples. And I think that as this field, as this expanding sphere has expanded, our technologies will be important in virtually every space where human decision making is currently important.